Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Sir Michael at Readon. So right now I'm going to be doing uh, Refuse to Choose by Barbara Sher. Um, the subtitle is Use All of Your Interests, Passions, and Hobbies to Create the Life and Career of Your Dreams. This was actually a recommendation that my friend Max recommended for me when I tried to tell him that uh, a lot of the books that I read, well, when I talk, try to tell him that I have several different interests, because I do, I mean, I like everything. So he said, listen, there's nothing wrong with having several interests. You know, uh, some of the great people in history had several interests. Uh, we're talking about Benjamin Franklin, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. You know, these are all people who nowadays we would call Renaissance men or women. You know, and I guess you can say I'm, I'm a renaissance, I'm a modern renaissance man. So what I like about Refuse to Choose is that Barbara basically says, do not subscribe to this belief that you have to choose one career path and follow that career path no matter what. She said, in fact, most people who really got things accomplished in history um, had several interests. You know, these were people that were into music, these were people that were into the arts, into science, you know, um, everything. So, and I've always been that type of person. Um, it is a self-development book. A lot of it is motivational. A lot of it is inspirational. Uh, basically, she uses the term scanner, and a scanner is somebody who scans different careers and never really fully chooses one, but rather delves into several different careers. You know, um, and I think that this is a good way of uh, of living life. You know, um, and even of finding a career. There should be, there should not be a stigma that if you have different interests and passions that you're never going to find a meaningful career or meaningful work. I think that that's a misconception. I've always been a believer that if you look hard enough, you will find something out there, particularly something that may suit your several interests. You know, for example, if you like writing, if you like uh, public speaking. You know, you might you might be an editor um, or a, 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 a journalist or something like that, something that encompasses many of the in, of the different interests that you have. You know, so again, this is going to be a short review. The book in itself is not very long. Um, it's just perfect for the type of person that has several interests. So keep staying tuned to read on with Sir Michael.